good morning uh, today's uh, lecture we will see uh, introduction to doses forms myself uh, dr sachin uh, patil uh, associate professor department of pharmaceutics kaili college of pharmacy belgaum so at the end of this uh, session we will be able to explain what are drugs what are why the drugs are not used as such what are excipients used uh, this excipients used to prepare different doses forms so what are doses forms why formulation of doses form is necessary what are various doses forms and what are the various factors to be considered before formulation this before the formulation <clears throat> so before uh, going to doses forms we will see uh, each doses form is uh, consist of two major parts that is active drug and another is uh, excipients or adjuvants so what are drugs drugs are active drug substances or active pharmaceutical ingredients they are called as api these are the chemical uh, compounds or substances with a pharmacological effect on the body and used to diagnose or treatment or prevention of disease so a uh, direct clinical use of this active drug substances is very rare or we are not using uh, pure uh, these chemical substances or active drug substances in a pure state so we cannot use this uh, drug as such why because uh, handling of api means to deliver the drug to the particular patient of different doses is very difficult and uh, accurate dosing could can be difficult or it is very impossible because different drugs are having different doses uh, there are potent drugs and non potent drugs such as uh, if for you take the example potent drugs they are very uh, low uh, mg or a very low concentration they produce uh, effect on our body so for example cetirizine you take uh, 5 mg or 2.5 mg so they contain uh, of the of particular dose is very low for example uh, non potent drugs such as paracetamol or any nsaid drugs we require 500 mg so dosing will not be accurate if you uh, want to give to the patient uh, 5 mg or 100 mg it is very impossible to handle as well as to give uh, deliver the drug to the patient in a pure state so uh, some apis means some chemical compounds uh, or drugs we will call it as a drugs or api or chemically unstable in light moisture and oxygen because they undergo degradation with one or the other way uh, so they may change into a non drug substance or they may uh, degrade so api administration can be impractical or vain and possible because of the size shape and smell and odor because of a different uh, uh, state or solid it may be in solid state it may be in liquid state or it may be in gaseous state or pure drug or pure compounds which has the pharmacological effect uh, they have a bad smell or bad odor so it is very difficult to deliver or patient may be not a very uh, like to take that particular uh, drug because of the taste and smell so uh, it is very difficult so api can be uh, degraded at the site of administration if you give in the pure state all our api or our drug if you the is taken because of the low ph in the stomach it may go into degradation not because of the ph uh, low ph uh, even though of a different drug may go through a different stages uh, different environment and they may uh, cause degradation of our drug API may cause local irritation or injury when they are present in high concentration at the site of administration so only if you want to give the pure drug they may cause an irritation they may cause injury to the local tissues because of the high concentrated uh, concentration at the particular site where you administer so this uh, leads uh, to uh, prepare the need for doses forms so uh, to provide uh, for the safety and convenient delivery of the accurate doses uh, we need uh, to prepare the different uh, doses form such as tablet capsules which contains an accurate doses form and they are very safe and the patient can take without any uh, hesitation or incompatibilities are not there 
for the uh, protection of a drug from the destructive influences of uh, atmospheric oxygen, moisture or light. As I told uh, why we are not giving the pure drug because of the degradation process because of light, moisture and oxygen. We can prepare our or protect our drug in coated tablets or sealed ampules so that uh, with our drug is protected in the formulation. Ampules in the sense we purging is done because of uh, we will remove the uh, normal air from the uh, empty space or uh, per space of the ampule and we will fill it with the nitrogen so that oxygen is not coming in contact with our drug and drug is not going to be degraded or auto oxidation or oxidation may takes place. So we can protect our drug as such uh, till the patient uh, taken that particular uh, drug or the doses form. For the protection of drug from the destructive influences uh, such as gastric, uh, because of low pH, some drug may degrade and because of acidic uh, environment, the drug undergoes degradation. Or because of the alkaline environment also, some because of uh, uh, alkaline environment, the drug undergoes degradation. So we can prepare uh, our drug into uh, entry coated tablets so that we can protect our drug from the different ex uh, destructive influences like uh, pH, environmental pH. So we can conceal uh, the bitter taste or the salty or obnoxious or the bad odor of our drug in the form of uh, coated tablets or we can use flavors or we can use uh, capsules so we can protect the test of our uh, bad test of our uh, drug in the because of the doses forms uh, to provide liquid preparations of the substance that are either insoluble uh, form and we can uh, with the help of desired vehicles we can prepare suspension so insoluble drug we can prepare suspension and the six point if the drug is completely soluble in our uh, desired vehicle or for example water we can prepare solution otherwise we can go for suspension so uh, if your uh, water is the because water is the only a choice for the vehicle for the oral liquids so we cannot use uh, there are some uh, vehicles such as different vehicles we can use but uh, major uh, water we can use so to provide the external drug action through control disease uh, mechanisms we can prepare take care of uh, different polymers or different excipients and we can prepare the uh, doses form in, in such a way that uh, control release of our drug can be uh, form or sustained release, extended release or delayed release tablet can be prepared or capsules also we can prepare to provide uh, the optimum act drug action from topical administration. So in case uh, we want uh, to deliver the drug at the particular site topically we can uh, prepare like ointment, creams, uh, ophthalmic, uh, ear or nasal preparations so for the local uh, action uh, to provide the uh, pro to provide for insertion of drug into one of the bodies or files that is rectal and vaginal suppose this is basically we can prepare due to uh, so directly we can deliver our drug to the local effect to provide for the placement of drug in the, within the body tissues that implants we can prepare so uh, to provide the Optimum drug action through inhalation therapy like inhalation, inhalants are there. In addition, uh, many uh, doses form permit uh, easy of our drug identification through uh, distinctiveness of color, shape or identification mark also we can use. And we can distinct or uh, differentiate our uh, do doses form such as uh, due to strength. If you want to prepare 100 mg or 500 mg tablet, we can uh, 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 we can emboss our 100 mg tablet and find it so can immediately we can identify the different uh, tablets of different doses forms. So actually what are doses forms? Uh, doses forms are the means by which drug molecules or API means or pure drug can be delivered to the site of action within the body to produce optimum desired effect and minimum side effect. The aim of the doses form is what to deliver the particular drug to the patient at the site of action within the body to have an optimum or to produce an optimum effect of the particular drug means, means that drug can be utilized more and more and with the minimum side effects. So need for the dose forms uh, because of uh, drug safety and benefit protection of our drug from the external environment like light, moisture and oxygen protection from the patient's gastric juice like uh, different environmental pH we can protect our drug from that 
and uh, due to patient safety we accurate dose of the potent drugs for the children's and elderly patient because uh, children's required a, a accurate dose because of the uh, dose variation they may see a uh, major changes in the pharmacological effect which leads to adverse effect and elderly patients also preventing local uh, drug irritation to becoming the ulcers we can so we can uh, prepare the different doses forms modifying the pk of the drug for optimum action increase the benefit and decrease the side effect of our particular drug with the help of dose form mask the taste and odor of the particular drug. all the api are generally uh, of the, uh, bad smell or we cannot take that so patient is very incompatible to take the particular pure drug so we can mask the taste and odor of our drug with the help of different excipients to prepare by preparing the different doses forms so uh, from the drug substance to pharmaceutical preparation so how uh, there are two components in doses form one is active drug substances that is active pharmaceutical which has pharmacological action and another component is excipients which are inactive pharmaceutical ingredients with the help of this excipients we are going to prepare our doses form uh, technically and biopharmaceutical and for or a stable reasons uh, we uh, such as diluents or uh, their bidens uh, lubricants disintegrants coating uh, different coating polymers preservatives antioxidants stabilizers colorants flavorings are flavors are used so pharmaceutical doses form is the is a drug delivery system which is formed by technological processing that is drug formulation uh, determines the physical form of the final uh, pharmaceutical preparation so based on the uh, different uh, 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 we can classify the doses form based on the route of administration and physical form so route of administration uh, we can classify all the drugs uh, doses forms are uh, based on the orally we are going to take the so it is classified as oral drug delivery uh, topically also transdermal parenteral in parenterals inhalations buccal and sublingual ophthalmic optic rectal and vaginal so this is based on route of administration orally we can take uh, solid also uh, some uh, liquids also topically we take semi solids or we apply solutions also and uh, based on physical form uh, state of existence that is solid uh, liquids semi solids and gases so uh, based on route of administration that is eternal that is oral route tablet capsules syrups suspension emulsions dry powder inhalations pressured meter dose inhalations nebulizers and vaporizers sublingual buccal means we take in the buccal cavity or for a disintegration tablet lozenges chewing tablets mouthwash toothpaste ointments and oral sprays rectal ointments suppositories enemas neutral enema nutrient enemas are there parenteral intravenous intramuscular intracardial intra peritoneal intra cerebral intraethical transdermal and subcutaneous topically dermal mucosal and percutaneous different layers of the skin we can achieve the help uh, deliver we can achieve the delivery of drug with the different doses forms examples are given here so uh, based on physical form like first we solids shaped unshaped are there semi solid if you take uh, shaped suppositories are there unshaped means gel cream ointment paste jellies liquid monophasic like a solution complete drug dissolves in particular biphasic external solution uh, medical gases uh, in gases those from medical gases like any volatile anesthesia aero dispersion are there and the asthmatic sprays so general consideration in doses form in uh, designing character of drug substance is very important drug stability is important determination of drug formulation stability prevention against microbial contamination acceptance and parental therapeutic considerations or nature of the disease and the age of the patient biopharmaceutical consider biopharmaceutics and concept of biopharmaceutics before preparing any doses form 